do you know how money comes about? If you don't even understand where the money comes from, then you will definitely never earn money. It certainly doesn't come from hardship. The hard-earned money, we all know, is just a small amount. If you exchange your own labor, if you exchange your own time for money, then throughout the year, how much can you earn? At most, tens of thousands of dollars, maybe a few hundred thousand, right? But if you have dreams, if you want to earn millions, tens of millions, relying solely on hard work won't cut it. So here's the question. How does money actually come about? The answer is simple. Money. It comes from within oneself. If you want to get rich, remember this. You mustn't chase after money. You should let money come to you on its own. Because money, you see, it has its own spirit. Capital never sleeps. It actively seeks out its preferred owner. Money has eight legs. When people chase after money, they exhaust themselves. But when money chases after people, it comes willingly. Some individuals naturally attract money. Money will chase after them. Others repel money. As the saying goes, you can't make a cooked duck fly away. So what should we do? It's quite simple. Let me give you an example. Suppose you like a butterfly. Don't chase the butterfly directly. It will fly away. What should you do instead? You should plant flowers and grass. When the flowers bloom, the butterfly will naturally return. It's straightforward. It's called the law of attraction. Now, how do we apply this law of attraction to make money come to us? Remember, I'm about to tell you 11 ways to attract money. If you can do at least three of them, especially the last one, money will come without being invited. All right, let's move on. And don't forget to subscribe, starting with the first one. 1. Learn to pray. This isn't superstition. It means finding spiritual support for yourself. It makes you stronger. Don't rely solely on yourself. Have faith. Don't think you can control too. Everything. That's what fools do. Every day, affirm to yourself that you're going to get rich. Repeat it often. I'm going to get rich. Very rich. The more you repeat it, the more money will come your way. This is a powerful form of self-suggestion and a positive self-fulfilling prophecy. It's not superstition or self-deception. Many psychologists have conducted successful experiments on this. 3. Treat everyone you meet in your life as your potential benefactor. Try to treat others well. You don't necessarily have to offer material help. Simply being friendly and kind is enough. This is a form of goodness. So, for those who like to insult others, beware. When you insult others, you're also losing some of your own good fortune. 4. Help others make money. And you may make even more money. When cooperating with others, make sure it's mutually beneficial. Don't harm others for your gain. If you have the ability to repay someone, take the initiative to repay a portion. Be willing to let go of big things to gain big rewards. Unwillingness to let go leads to losses. 5. Never take advantage of others. When you take what you shouldn't, you'll eventually pay it back. And remember, it's called the law of karma. 6. Be generous in giving. Actively help others. And don't focus too much on immediate returns. What I do is my good deed. How you treat me is your business. I don't expect your repayment because my contributions will find their way back to me in one form or another. Sooner or later. 7. When speaking, pay attention to your inner thoughts and language. Make an effort to eliminate thoughts and words associated with poverty. Such as saying earning money is too difficult or I never have enough money. Avoid these negative statements, as they can lead to self-doubt and discouragement. 8. Don't engage in comparisons with others, whether someone else is something you don't have or not. Happiness doesn't come from comparison. You only need to compare yourself with your past self to see if you've made progress. 9. Learn to sincerely bless others. This is crucial. In simple terms, don't envy others. And never feel uncomfortable when people around you succeed. When you can't stand others' success, it doesn't necessarily mean that others are not good, but it certainly means you're not feeling happy. Keep a benevolent heart, and even if fortune hasn't arrived yet, misfortune will stay far away. 10. 
Believe that you deserve the best things in life. You are worthy of all the goodness, and you have the right to live a happy life. Never think that you don't deserve it. Your past does not determine your future. You didn't come into this world to atone for anything or to suffer. You are here to enjoy life and experience its beauty. You deserve it. The eleventh and final rule, which is also the most important one, is called develop wealthy thinking as early as possible. When you've given yourself enough positive reinforcement, believing in your own success, and consume a lot of motivational content, what you need next is real knowledge and practical strategies for making money. I've already summarized these for you. Subscribe to this channel for more practical theories and real case studies that will help you become more successful on your path to wealth.